southern coast of England There are seagulls flying Higher, still higher than before It's as though they've been hoisted like a Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. Certainly, this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. They appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. Well, the obvious standout with today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers... Can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. So that's got things on the way. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's totally dominant in the air. And what's more, he seems to really love a tussle. His passing's good too, and he never seems to lose it in important areas. I'd expect this team to notch up a lot of clean sheets with him on board. Yeah, I must agree. It's Jordan Henderson! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him. With the ability he has, he can reproduce. Is there any support? He might not need it. Goes for goal! Henderson. Has a pop! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, as test goal, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Well back. And the flag has. Well back! This could fall anywhere. Get that clear. No goals as yet. And the shot! <laughs> Brighton produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch. And importantly, it is a strong end product. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Battles to win it back. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And it's Welbeck. It has got through to him.
from immediate danger. That'll be a throw. He's had a look. Well back. Now it's well back. Plays it back. Good ball. It's found its target. Has a goal! Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Well back. That's the through ball. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Half to a close. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Brighton leading 1 0 at the break. So we're already into the second period. Brighton going well here and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead they don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively tries to get it forward quickly looking cross field changing the point of attack Ball through needs to be good here. Has a hit! And with that goal comes comfort. Allison did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. I doubt he'll score too many which come easier than that, Peter, but just look at his movement. He knew instinctively that the keeper would struggle to hold on to it. So that's two now without reply. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Lalana gets his foot in there. Gets wrestled off the ball. Van Dijk. And it's Mane. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Jota. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And that's going to be a booking. for a corner kick. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag. Uh, Look at the goal!
and it's been taken short. He's got away. Liverpool seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that they're, they're main. He's through and all up and the finish! What a ball this has turned. He's had a goal! More pressure on the opposition goal. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Welbeck. Ford shows there will be three extra minutes. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And time is up. Uh, the manager heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. The team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win. Just to summarise what we've seen today then, Jim. Brighton have just reminded us why we love this game so much. The seemingly impossible is proven otherwise. <laughs>